University. We know that this is just about the busiest and some would say the most sentimental time of the year. Uh, today is a standoff and a celebration uh, for 10 international educators from nine countries who have shared their lives with us for almost a year. We start our celebration today with the remarks by Dean Camilla Bembo of Peabody College. Under Dean Bembo's leadership, we're making great progress in our collaborations with international institutions and educators. In the last three years, ever since the Humphrey Fellowship Program came to Vanderbilt University, Dean Bembo has given us guidance, autonomy, and support. We're grateful for your leadership. I am really very 
honored to speak at this occasion, and I'm even more honored that I was uh, nominated by this group. They're a very, very special group of individuals that I have learned so much from this year. A headline in the Vanderbilt View read, Humphrey Fellows arrived. August marked the arrival of the 2011-12 Newburgh Age Humphrey Fellows in Nashville, where they would engage in a year of professional and leadership development at Vanderbilt and Peabody. I remember the first day that I walked into the classroom in the Home Economics Building here on the Peabody campus to meet the Humphrey Fellows and to be paired with my Humphrey mentee. As I looked around the room, it was like the beginning of the weaving of a quilt. And I promise you, Dean Benbo and I did not connect our, our uh, talks today. I looked and began to see all of the threads that were laid out in the lives of each fellow in that room. The fellows represented the threads of professional lives that included a school principal, a policymaker, an engineer, occupational therapist, a person who develops the use of media and technology in education, a teacher trainer, a French teacher, a Spanish teacher, leaders of NGOs that were dedicated to school reform, to at-risk children, and to a Latin American center. The fellows also added their personal threads to the quilt. Attributes such as respect for each other, openness to other cultures, willingness to shift perceptions and paradigms, dedicated learners, team players, a spirit of helpfulness, a calm spirit, a gentle person, a spiritual guide, a question asker, a spirit of laughter, big dreamers, fast movers, a mover and a shaker, a spirit of hope, visionaries, risk takers, quiet reformers, and out loud agents of change. I was awestruck. I knew that I was going to be part of a very special quilting experience. In that room were the quilters and the threads all wrapped up in one that provided potential, possibilities, and promise. I was ready for the quilting to begin, to start putting all of the pieces together, and so were they. Over the course of 10 months, a wonderful quilt has been sung. The threads that were brought to the table by professors, staff, host families, community leaders and organizations, excursions, conferences, retreats, classroom experiences, and many conversations and discussions all brought about patterns and colors of hope we could never have imagined on that first day. The threads of our lives have crisped and crossed. They have taken new direction. They have sown new patterns and reinforced some revered learnings and experiences. But on this day, we all know that the quilt is not finished. It actually has only begun because this marks the commencement of the threads being sewn back into our global community. These renewed threads are now going to be stitched into the fa fabric of nine countries and four continents. The professional threads of each Humphrey Fellow has taken on new strength for policy implementation, enhancing technology in schools, increasing diversity and equal access to education, improving school evaluation, integrating disabled students into higher education, working on policies to evaluate teacher and principal performance, implementing best practices for teacher training, and enhanced leadership strategies for the organization Safe the Children. But I also want each of you, the Humphrey Fellows, 
to know that you have stitched new threads into the fabric of Peabody College. You have also been our teachers, our mentors, our role models, our inspiration, and you have caused us to hope more, to dream bigger, and you have moved us into new ways of knowing. Because of you, I was reminded that I was part of a larger community. Every day I have spent with you, you reinforce that we are all striving through our various disciplines and practice to create a better world for all of humanity. Today, I am confident that you and we will carry the traditions, the history, the legacy, the knowledge and practice of this learned community into the future. And you will live out the motto of this prestigious college, education, a dead dude from present to future generations. Today, we all hopefully send you off with a passion to carry on your work in this world. We send you off with an established foundation to accept the challenges and seize the opportunities that are presented to you to make a difference. We send you off with the hope that we have instilled in you the ability and desire to be strong leaders and to be successful in your endeavors. We are very, very proud of your accomplishments and your successes. It is really hard to bid you farewell. We hope you will come back this way again. And when you do, we will be here to greet you with open arms. And I know that many of us will continue our friendships and visit you someday. But this truly is a day to look ahead with excitement and joy. Know that as you continue to play place, your footprints throughout the world, we are beside you in spirit. In closing, I wish to share a poem, The Essence of Knowing, written by one of my former students, Dr. Megan Mundy Patterson, who is now a Peabody alum. And she writes, be fully your own. Inhabit your world with conviction, accountability, reverence, joy, and laughter. Know no greater riches wrapped in the knowledge you carve from common ground within this sacred space. Take your learnings and go on to become leaders and lovers, creators and builders of new knowledge, and of places of peace and transformation. Leave as you must, but know your responsibility your legacy, your passion, contribute to the greater hope. A world where understanding bridges differences and illuminates the colored quilt of all humanity. So celebrate this day, go forth with joy, and may your life be filled with days of doing well. Blessings and best wishes from myself and from Peabody College.
team will share a song that they have written to convey their sentiments and feelings about their home for a year. Sylvia? <laughs> prestigious award. It took over a year to be able to get the good news of being finally selected. In order to share our journey, I would like to highlight a few stories. August 2011. Seems not long ago when we landed in Nashville. Most of us had not heard much about Vanderbilt University. To our surprise, we were enrolled at the most highly ranked Institute of Education in the United States of America. We were blessed in the true sense of the word. It seems that a year has gone by in the blink of an eye, not only because we remain closely involved in both academic and social activities, but because of being so much loved and taken care of. As we go back, we could always remember the Southern hospitality and the love and friendship of the people of Nashville. Staying in Nashville has been a wonderful experience. For us, it is a beautiful city with beautiful people who embraced us wholeheartedly. On August 5, 2011, we got a taste of the kind of love and support we would receive from the beautiful people of USA. It was by our center that we were trying to figure out and I still remember the patience of Nancy's father, who came to pick us up in the absence of Nancy to fetch us to our first meeting with the Humphrey families. Kathy and I kept guiding him, or was it misguiding Kathy? <laughs> about the route which we felt we had become experts in only three days of our arrival. <laughs> Until we decided to keep our mouths shut and let him find his way. When we recall this incident, we have sheepish grins on our faces. But not to forget that we were deeply touched by him deciding to escort us to the event when he himself was a visitor in Nashville who came to welcome his first granddaughter in this world. Our little Humphrey baby, <laughs> Isabel, who grew with us during this journey. She's also eight months old. <laughs> Our Humphrey year has been full of amazing experiences and learning, evolving around Humphrey seminars, leadership sessions, site visits, auditing courses, meeting professionals, and working on our individual program plans. The beauty of the program lies in its structure, which was designed mainly to facilitate our goals for the year. It takes one person to bring a whole team together, and Show Cravens has done a wonderful job in doing so. To keep us focused, we must thank our director, Nancy, who held monthly meetings with us and raised tough questions. They were very tough. <laughs> to broaden our thinking and prospects of our takeaways. Nancy has been a wonderful coordinator, being always accessible and a good resource to benefit from. Ever smiling and approachable and treating everyone equally. Something we would like to emulate as leaders and as we return back home. Apart from academics, we've had rich cultural exchanges and experiences. I would never forget how proud I had been on the pumpkin I carved for the first time. <laughs> During the pumpkin carving. Whether it was attending a church, a mosque, or a temple, all taught us that by being respectful to each other's belief system, we can create a more tolerant and peaceful world. We maintain a harmonious relationship together as fellows. We gelled in together to the extent that we stood up for each other whenever a need arose. The Humphrey year has been the start of new friendships, not just with the people of America, but with people from all over the world. Thanks to Hubert Humphrey, and yes, as, as envisioned by President Carter, whom some of us got a chance to meet personally. 
we would take this legacy of leadership even further in our countries. Next, I would like to highlight the care of our supporters and friendship families. We met some wonderful people and made some everlasting relationships this year. We were definitely blessed to have you in our lives at a time when we were away from our own families. We have had in numerous experiences when we felt truly blessed and loved. We were touched by the love we were showered upon by the beautiful people of Nashville and the friendship families. You made us accustomed to your home and family life. Nashvilleians, you are truly beautiful at heart. Recently, we had our year-end retreat at the Smoky Mountains and rightly said, we were in the lap of luxury. <laughs> it was an awesome experience. We had yet to meet another amazing family. Yes, Ellison's parents, whom we met for the first time. And were deeply impressed with their hospitality. We wish Ellison good luck in her educational pursuits. She will be sure to miss. We were also touched by Joyce's family for hosting Margaret over Christmas and for Katie's mom in getting A's family to Nashville from Atlanta. We learned a lot from this unique experience this year and with your support we have grown as leaders who would bring about change and reform in our countries. We hope to see Alonso, Tommy and Charles at key government positions in their fields, maybe as ministers <laughs> or even further. <laughs> so maybe you would like to take your autographs today only. <laughs> and hopefully Julieta, A, Sonia, Kathy, Dabri, Margaret and myself will be strong advocates for inclusion and equity. It would be unfair on my part not to mention the support of IIE throughout our country year. The team in Washington has been fantastic and responded to our needs promptly. We remain indebted to them. I can go on and on, but in the interest of the time, I would like to say the final farewell and thank yous to our dean, directors, coordinators, advisors, instructors, friendship families, ambassadors, professional affiliation hosts, Professor Epsi and Anne-Marie Rettenberg from Ball State who have been our associate campus for Rupert Humphrey program. Metro National Public Schools for accommodating our kids and all those who made this year an enriching and a happy experience for all of us. My special thanks to the American taxpayers whose tax payments helped us in having this wonderful experience. <laughs> This should not be the end, but rather it should be the start of a never-ending relationship. So stay in touch. I would like to end my speech in the words of Martin Luther King, and I quote, Darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. Unquote. And we take back light and love to our countries from you all. Thank you.
close to Memphis here.
taking time to get us. We appreciate it. And we'd like to say, thank you. <laughs> and now to think about this stuff, you know, uh, we from developing countries, we're not familiar with the computers and you know, it's what really hard for us to cope with the computer. You know what I mean? You know, I had red hair, I'm really old. It was really hard for me to cope with computers, even for us you. But thanks to your parents and to support, we're now really kind of experts in computer science, marketing, and research, you know. We would like to thank you people at the staff. We would like to thank you. And the everybody professors. Really, we are delighted to know you, to meet with you. Because you were at the same time our professors and our advisors. Sometimes our friendship families, you know, we would like to thank you for your dedication, for the time that uh, you took for us during the academic year. It was really hard at the beginning because, you know, back home, back in Africa and in Asia, at the university, we are not quite young, you know, with computer, you know, assignments, women, internet, and so on, you know, sometimes it's kind of dizzy, but, you know, slowly, a step by step, we come to it. I would like to thank you, everybody. Hey, thank, you. thank you. And now, for the very long support, uh, we appreciate the support, we appreciate the time. When we talk about appreciation, uh, they take an uh, example of uh, the commons, you know, we have the time to go to the dam and the uh, other workshops that we get here to attend. You know, here, free workshop and sometimes free food, you know. <laughs> it's not easy for us and to cook with. And also, thanks to uh, the students, the people who help us for our professional development. Everybody would like to thank, thank you, you for your support. And the, the seven of speakers, you know, from, we are from different regions, different culture. We are, have our own way of defining, uh, determining what is the leadership. When we come here for the first time in the U.S., it's of how we have our own way of, the, of saying leadership. Our leaders, but now we know what is real leader. And we learn a lot from you, so the seminar speakers. We learn a lot from you about education. We know now there's a link, an extracurricular link between education and uh, economics and health and, you know, and social services and so on. This is not the case in other countries. We learn how to kind of take away from us. And we would like to thank you. Thank you. Your hearts, 
your spirit, the fact that you just want to teach us, the fact that you are giving us all your resources. You know, if I go back to South Africa and I tell them, the resources was freely available, so we don't have to hide away the resources. We really want to thank you so much for what you've done. And then our administrative sponsors, it's again the Department of State, the IIE, and everybody up in Washington, we really want to thank them for really bringing us in. And guys, you can pay more tax so then we can cut that. <laughs> <laughs> One of the best experiences, if you're going to pay more tax, we would be able to come back. <laughs> and then we just want to say thank you very much um, to the team for the year. Thank you.
Congratulations, fellows. We're so proud of you.